There's a bug on the camera. Okay. When you ask me where I am from. Hi guys, I am Adishu and with me is David. What's up? We're gonna be talking about the devil is a girl today. We're out in nature, so there might be some like insects and stuff, but we're all here for it. We're chilling, we're having a good time. So where do you want to start behind the scenes? Well, I think it's a good point to start um, almost three years ago. That's when you started writing it, yeah. right? Yeah. So I wrote The Devil is a Girl about like two years and a half ago in about like September, I suppose, 2019. So I wrote The Devil is a Girl for a class. I was supposed to write an AA song. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know what that is, it's a song that only has verses. And this one uh, didn't end up quite um, right for the task I had. But because it was a good song, I kept working on it. Uh, so so I... it was too good for class, basically. <laughs> it was too yeah. good for class. Too good. <laughs> Yeah, and I was I was gigging a lot lately. I was participating mm. uh, to like open mics, and I had a little solo gigs around, and I was playing it a lot, and people loved it, so I kept playing it. So I kept searching and working on it, and <laughs> David wrote me last summer in May, April. Mm, April. April. All right. Yeah. So last spring. Yeah. Yeah, and then we made You Still Make Me Smile, the EP that y'all loved. We made The Devil is a Girl and a whole new EP, which is called Ideas That Seem Like Go Ones at 3 a.m. and it's coming out on August the 6th. We've been working on Devil is a Girl since last summer, mm. about August of, or July. Yeah, I found, the, I found the session, like the first version of Devil is a Girl that we made together. Because there were a lot of like versions floating around. Yeah. On like different hard drives and I don't know. When you ask me where I am from, I'll tell you, boy, you don't wanna know. And the first one that we made together is from pretty much exactly a year ago, end of July, start of August of 2020. And it's quite different than what ended up, you know, on Spotify on, on the EP right now, but I gotta say, listening back to the first demo, I'm glad it changed a lot because it's a lot better now. <laughs> it was pretty basic, but we also applied for funding for our EP with the Devil is a Girl demo. Yes. It's the one that we sent in and hey, we got it. So um, I think we, we saw that like people really liked the song. Like you said, you played it live a bunch, got good reactions. So And that's kind of when you know you have something. And so yeah. that's why we kind of like made it like the main thing for now for us. Yeah, I think... It always what caught up people's attentions was the bass line. Mm. And, uh, and we kept that. Yeah. That's still in there, pretty yeah. much as is. This one, it had two main things, yeah. which is the song itself, like the vocals, the melody, the lyrics, and the bass line. Um, and the structure. Yeah, the like structure. Like, there's, there's no vocal in the chorus, and that was always pretty much as is, and we didn't yeah. change that. And we changed the melody in the chorus, but again, like, there's no vocal in it. There was never a vocal in it. So, like, the song itself pretty much stayed the same in the bass line, which is, like, the hook of the song, so to yeah. speak. That and you wrote. I didn't write the bass line. You wrote the bass line. Yeah. The, the, the chorus line I wrote, yeah. which is true, which first dab into songwriting there, I think it turned out pretty cool, but... I think there's there's no point in like changing that and it's basically a whole new song and then just write a new song. So yeah. I really wanted to keep that in there. Yeah. Do you want to talk about production process? Yeah, for for a little bit. I think I'm I'm making a bunch of videos for anybody who's like really interested in more like the technical details. But the production process was pretty much like I said, we made a first demo of the song about a year ago with the main elements in there and some of those elements made it into the final production. The process was relatively straightforward. It just took a lot of time. So there wasn't a lot of running against walls and completely changing it. It was pretty much straightforward, but it took a while. The devil, the devil, the devil is a girl. The devil. 
like when somebody asked us in the live stream, like how long did it take you? Mm -hmm. I said about 200 hours, probably more, but like that's how long it, it took to put everything together. It turned out great, so who cares? I mean, it's one of <laughs> it's one of the best songs we ever put. Oh, out. for sure. I would call it the best song, actually. I, I would say songwriting wise, it depends, because you could analyze a song from a bunch of different mm. criteria. Like uh, another song on the EP is "Might Come Over." I would say the storyline and the plot twists in that one are really on point. Yeah. A very catchy car chorus as well. It has a very singable chorus. Yeah. That's, and that's also why we put some crowd vocals in there to make it sound like it's a bunch of your friends like jamming out to the song. But that's coming out soon. Let's yeah. not let's not give away too much of that yet. Yeah. But uh, you know, this one also like very proud of it. I don't know. It was the first song that I've written back in the day based on the riff and, and not on like chords and melody. Yeah, and stuff. exactly. Oh, interesting. I, I wrote this one. This one was the first song I've written from the riff. I think it was this one song from Twilight that I was listening to, and mm -hmm. it had the chords E minor. Minor, G and C. So I was just playing these chords, you know. And trying to connect it somehow. And I was yeah. trying to connect it. And then I came up with the bass line. And I was like, this is actually a pretty cool bass line. Catchy. I think it's pretty rock and roll because a lot of older rock music isn't really like based on chords. Like if you try to write down chords from it, it doesn't really make sense. But it's like riff music. Yeah. And so I think it, it kind of has, has that vibe a little bit. Yeah. Because they're really, in the bridge, there's a lot of chords. The rest of the song, there's really not that many like chords in there it's basically the bass line of the vocal and together they make up what the chords are and what the yeah. harmony is a lot of a lot of layers of vocals and oh boy ad libs oh boy and, and uh, that, all that stuff tell me about it yeah. so i'm recording devil is a girl now for the like fifth time Already, yeah. This this has been taking a lot, a long, a lot longer time than I ever thought it would. We went over songwriting, a little bit of production. Again, if you're more the like producer type, technical side of it, I made a bunch of videos about that too. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was breakdown of the devil is a girl. A little behind the scenes look, behind the curtain. Hope you enjoyed, and we're gonna do more of these for the video, for all the other songs too. Yes. Right. Okay. Cool. And so tell us if you enjoy this, if you like a little bit of behind the scenes look, see how it all came to be, it came about. Um, we love to do these. These are a lot of fun to make. So uh, we'll keep making them if you guys keep watching them. So, yeah. Yep. See you in the next one, I guess. So today I'm recording Devil's Girl vocals again. Yeah. So after... Takes and takes and takes and takes some more takes of recording Devil's Girl. And finally recording Devil's Girl again. So there we go. Devil's Girl. <laughs> uh, I swear when the song is ready, I'm never gonna wanna hear it again.